Do you ever worry that someone might take your idea and run with it, copy it, use it as their own, and not give you credit? Well, I hope that this short video will give you some calmness and peace about that and could give you a more abundant mindset about ideas. So I have been creating content consistently, putting stuff out there since 2014, 2015, 2014 actually. And up to now, I have made over a thousand videos and blog posts. And it's all out there, so there's lots and lots of ideas. And I'm sure somewhere someone has copied my idea, saw it from me, copied it, used it as their own, and not given me credit. I think I've actually seen it um, like two or three times over the years. And I noticed when that happened, it's usually someone copy-pasting something of mine on Facebook and not quoting me, not putting my name. And I saw it happen. I'm like, whatever, you know, and theirs, theirs didn't go. Theirs didn't go as far as mine did. You know, mine obviously went viral enough where they saw it, they copied it. So number one, if, if it's any comfort for my own experience, just know that uh, even if someone copies and pastes your stuff, it's not going to do as well as yours did to go so far as to get to them so that they could do, they could also copy you. But number two, I believe, I mean, I've seen it within myself that when I give energy to protecting my ideas or being fearful that someone might not give me credit for it, that's energy taken away from creating, from sharing, from dreaming, and from just doing the work of publishing. And so long ago, I let go of, of that fear. In fact, in 2014, I decided to uncopy, when I started becoming active in uh, sharing content, I decided to uncopyright all my content. Yes. So what does that mean? It just means that you can feel free to take anything you see from me, any idea, and even go so far as copy and paste my entire books. I have now four books. You can copy and paste the, any of my books, and you can publish them as your own with you as the author, and I don't care. I don't have the time nor the energy to hunt you down or anybody down. I don't have the money or the time to sue anybody. I don't care. It's just, it's too much work. And I, I found that once I made that decision of uncopywriting everything, I just relaxed and just, it became so, um, I became much more abundant minded and not surprisingly, my audience has continued growing over the years because I've continued creating very actively. Now, you might say, well, isn't there something we can do? Now, there is one concern, I just have to say. One concern that I do have is when someone sees my stuff and says, hey, George, you took that idea from me because, look, I published this idea earlier than you did, so you must have seen mine and taken it from me because it looks so similar. That is that is a real concern that I have. I don't want to be accused of having stolen someone else's ideas. So the way I prevent that from happening is this is why I have such an urgency and I encourage you to have an urgency of sharing ideas as quickly as possible. And there are two simple ways of doing that. Um, one way is to make YouTube videos. If you have a new idea, go ahead, put it on into, onto YouTube, uh, you know, public, as a public YouTube video. You can even make it unlisted and even if it's unlisted, um, it'll still have the time, the date stamp so that, you know, there's, there's proof that the idea was out there on a certain date. So that makes me calm. It's like I share my ideas as quickly as I can and put it on YouTube. If you don't want to make videos, you can put your ideas and writing on, on Twitter because Twitter also has timestamps. And even if it's a long article, you can simply put it into a series of tweets, a, tw a Twitter thread, it's called. And those are all timestamped. And so this is why if you find me on Twitter, you'll see that that's what I do. I use Twitter as a public journaling tool to get my ideas out there as quick as I can. And so, um, uh, you know, again, I don't care if anyone takes my ideas. All I do care is if someone claims that I stole their idea. Thankfully, I, it, it hasn't happened. That's so I'm glad to say that hasn't happened either in, in the past eight years since I've been actively putting ideas out there. 
but it you know just in case and uh, you know just in case I do put it on Twitter and YouTube and also it like I said encourages me to you know share create and share content as quickly as I can so if my story is any encouragement to you I hope that this helps you to become more abundant minded with your ideas and I just I, I just wish that all of us could uncopyright all our content. I know it's a it's a strong move to make that I what I did what I've done, but I've only had tons of peace in doing it and tons of creativity after doing it. So I just wish that everyone could uncopyright all the content, so none of us have to worry about oh did I steal someone oh did I forget to give credit? Um, I always try to give credit when I remember that I took someone's idea. Of course I do. I try to. And this uncopyright idea, by the way, came from I got it from. Uh, Leo Babauta of Zen Habits. If you Google Zen Habits Leo, that you'll find his website, and and he was he's been uncopyrighting his content since t 2008. Since 2008, he has uncopyrighted all his content, and he's done very very well. Um, anyway, so that's where I got the idea. But yeah, I, you know, I, I just wish we could be all m much more liberated about about ideas because truly, no idea is original, is it? Really? You think you came up with some idea? It's almost certain that you were at least subconsciously influenced by a number of other people, uh, and you didn't even realize that you were influenced by it, and that's how your, your ideas came to be. So I think all of us share ideas. I mean, even the very vocabulary we use, <laughs> that came from our teachers, right? Our, and uh, it came from their teachers, and originally, you know, whoever started using certain words. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. I hope this gives you some more urgency of creating content, putting stuff out there. And um, thank you for joining me and I always welcome your questions and comments. So be well and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me.